everybody, I'm back. And guess what? I have another box idea using the explosion board. I am just loving this thing. It is making some really awesome, really cool projects. So this one here is not a new idea, but it is a new idea using the explosion board. And I kind of worked with it and figured out what would work. And I came up with something really cool. So I think you might like it and it might be kind of fun to make. So uh, let's get started with this. Again, this is using my explosion board that um, is by We Are Memory Keepers, and I am just really loving this thing. I'm really loving this thing. So what I did was I used some old Valentine papers that I had to create this box. Um, I did... Um, I wanted to make a gift box that was like kind of a gift box in a gift box, plus it's also an album, and it also has a cute little surprise inside. And since it was Valentine theme, I kind of went with um, the cute little surprise instead of putting like an extra mini album in there, but you certainly could. Let's talk about this. So this is the extra, extra large size box. So it's the 4 by 4 by 4 um, box. And, you know, you take off the lid, and then looky here. So you have boxes on the inside. So we have a wraparound element that opens up and then you have gift boxes on the inside and then all the gift boxes open up and you could do you know things like candies or you know whatever you wanted but there's four little gift boxes in here places for photos and then on the inside here i decided since this when that you close this up it had a it has a couple spaces okay so it has a space like right down in the middle and i thought that since it was a valentine album um then I would just make a little paper Valentine vase and I put some flowers in there and I just thought that was really, really cute. But then also, if you if you didn't wanna do that, you have about an inch of space at the bottom of your album. If you look at it when the boxes are all closed up, you have about an inch of space there. So you could put an album at the bottom of this box or a nice flat gift down here. If you didn't do the vase, you could do all kinds of things with this. So um, let's get started. I'll show you how to make this. Um, again, I will be making a model of this. I won't be putting pattern paper on this one, but I'll show you the basic concept of how to make it and then um, talk you through all the process and then you can make your own, okay? So, I'm going to put that kind of off to the side there. The first thing you're going to need is an extra, extra large piece of paper to make this box. So you need a 12 by 12 piece of paper. And we're going to do the extra, extra large scores. So you put it in your scoreboard and you score it on extra, extra large on all four sides. Okay. And then, so all four sides, extra, extra large. And then um, what you're going to do is you're going to do pinwheel cuts. And because this is a wraparound album, okay, so I'm using these not only as photo mats, but also as a way of helping to keep everything contained and kind of close the sides up because this will wrap around the previous or, you know, the next page. So um, what you're going to do is you're going to do your pinwheel cuts, but you're not going to make tabs, okay? Now at this point, the base of your box is, is basically done. You just have to put your pattern paper on. So for the outside, here's what I did to cover everything. And then on the inside, um, this is what I did. Now on the, the squares on the corners, that's gonna be the wraparound. Don't put um, your boxes on those. So those are gonna be for the photo mats. And then you're gonna put pattern paper on all the inside. Okay, so that's the first part that you're going to do. So then you need to make all of these little boxes and there's a lot of them that you'll need to make. You'll, you'll obviously need to make four bases and four lids. So to make the inner boxes, these are actually lids. So the bases of the boxes, the bases of these inner boxes are actually the extra small lid. So you're going to take a piece of paper that's four and seven eighths by four and seven eighths, and you're going to do four of these, and you're going to put them in here, and you're going to score on the lid line on all four sides, okay? And then we're going to do these pinwheel cuts and make tabs here, okay, to create our box. And then, so you're going to make four of those, okay? And then you're going to have your box lids and these are a little bit bigger, so you need to cut four pieces that are five by five. Uh, and then they're only an eighth inch bigger than this. And then, again, score on the lids. Okay. And then on all four sides. 
and then you're going to make your notches. So you're going to cut up your pinwheel style, cut up straight, and then make your notches for your tabs for your box. And you're going to need to make four of those. So these are the lids. So then once you do that, so we need to make these bad boys. So you're going to fold and burnish all of your lines, okay, which I already have done. And, oh, and what you're also going to do, so on the outsides, on the outside of your lids for both of these, for the base and the lids, you're going to put pattern paper on the outside on all four sides, okay? And then on the inside, you're going to put pattern paper here. And then, so once that's done, then you're going to make your box shape, and then you will put pattern paper on the inside of the lids. So I did put pattern paper on all of the sides. So I have the bottom box, which is actually the extra small lid made. So we'll let that sit and dry. And then um, after you, of course, put the box together, then you're gonna put pattern paper on the insides and cover up all those tabs. And then we're gonna do the lid. And again, this piece was the lid piece for these inner boxes right here was a five by five square and you put them in your scoreboard and you score them on the lid line and it will be a nice little tight fit especially after you get all of your pattern paper on there it will be nice and snug so then take on the outside of your lid cover the outside sides and then on the inside cover the inside piece and then make your make your lid all right so now my lids made my bottom is made they fit together just like that it's really really perfect so then take your take your um box okay and you are going to put your boxes on here just like that. They're down and in just about a sixteenth or so of an inch inside um, so that when this box closes, they fit nice and snug with each other. But they're just in just a little bit. I don't know if you can see that or not. But they're, they're not, they're like about even with the pattern paper. So when you put pattern paper on here, I cut it about an eighth of an inch shorter. So this is a four by four panel that I covered with three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths paper and then I'm lining the box up with the edge of the pattern paper so does that make sense so they will be tucked in about they will be in about a 16 inch down and a 16th inch in so um that's where you glue them down okay so then you just glue your box down on the corner there and there you go so that, that is basically how you make this box. And so you'll make four of these and then just make sure that when you glue them down, you glue them in the same corner. So like for example, this one's in the upper left corner. When you turn it and glue it down, make sure it's in the upper left corner and so on and so on. So that way that they fit in the proper spot. Now, if you want to, where did, did I have that cut out? Nope, I guess I didn't. If you, yeah, if you, oh, here it is. I did do it. So if you want to make this vase, so this is a goofy little thing. If you want to make a little flower vase and put in the in the middle of it, what I did was I took a 5x5 five five piece of paper and I put it in my scoreboard and I scored it on the extra, extra small side on both, on all four sides. Okay, and then I had to do some trimming. So basically, this guy is about an inch in diameter. It's just an inch square, but it's like two, excuse me, two inches tall. So you can see I kind of did some drawings of where you need to cut. So we need to make tabs and um, do some cutting. So you're going to cut like pinwheel style. So you're gonna do, let's start over again. <laughs> you're gonna like cut pinwheel style. So you're gonna cut up straight up the side and make a tab and then turn it, cut up straight and make a tab. How's that sound? I think this is like the fourth tutorial I filmed today. So I think I'm getting a little tongue tied now. And I think after this one, I think I'm gonna stop 
and I'm going to start editing so I can get that published. There we go. Okay, so you're going to do that all the way around. And the side tabs don't have to be super accurate as far as um, length. It's just that'll help reinforce the box. And then what I did was I did a fancy little thing. And I don't know if you can see it or not. Maybe you can. Um, I did a little punch on the edge. So I found my punch. Once you get all those pieces cut out... Then I took my punch and I just do it upside down and I punched all of the sides of this little vase and I just centered it and punched it like that. Okay. And then you can trim it a little bit if you need to. I centered that one very good, but that's okay. And then I just redid the tab a little bit. All right. That was kind of what I did. And then after I put pattern paper on the side, then I just folded that down and glued it. And then that gave me the cute little kind of lacy edge on the side of that vase. All right. So I'll do that on the other sides as well. Get that kind of centered. do all of them so you can kind of see it so so this will work just get your punches out and check it out if you don't want to do that you don't have to do that you don't have to do any of it um you can make a little mini album down in the bottom so i thought about like making like a uh, accordion album and putting it down there or you know just a little just a plain old little teeny tiny album um, with regular turning pages you can do whatever you wanted you could put a gift down there um, just it's just super fun but you have about an inch of space that you can play with which is kind of fun um, so you can either do you know something like this or you can do you know an album or you know present whatever so the choice is yours but you have about like I said about an inch to play with okay so then you're just going to create this box after you put your pattern paper on and I did not put pattern paper on the inside of this because I stuffed some floral foam in there and then stuffed the flowers in there and glued it down so no one's going to see the inside of that anyway so I just put the pattern paper on the outside and then I made my box like this and then we just I just folded those over and then I can you don't even have to glue them down if you don't want to if you want them sticking out you can totally do that too so you know totally up to you what you want to do and again you don't even have to do that if you don't want to you can leave it totally tall and just have a nice tall base so um but that's what I did and how I did it and I had fun doing it. Keeps me out of trouble, right? <laughs> and I can't get this glued down. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get this. Hold on. A little fiddly because it's small. Okay. There we go. You get the idea. So that's how I did that. And then I just centered it down in the bottom. And ta-da, you have your little vase. But that is basically how I made this album. Um, I'll have all the measurements down at the bottom. But, I mean, isn't this super cute? This would be a great gift for somebody. Put little candies in there, whatever. And then when it folds up, you know, obviously it's an album, but then... You know, it all folds up on itself and wraps around. And it's just, I don't know, I just thought it was cute and it's fun to do. Isn't that sweet? All right, so that's my project for today. So this is my um, my uh, explosion box with inner gift boxes. Um, so thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. 
I hope you have a crafty day and I will see you again soon with another tutorial. Bye-bye.